have a new president in India, a lady who's inspirational and smashed all the barriers and that glass ceiling. Um, I heard a, a phrase recently that was apparently said by Dr. Ambadkar. He said that the day a tribal woman makes it to presidency of India is the day that reservations should be removed as well. We have Modiji, once a Chaiwala, who is now one of the world's greatest leaders. So we are smashing barriers of casteism, ego, um, nepotism, elitism, all the things India was accused of. What are your thoughts on this? Well, thank you very much. Always an honor and a pleasure to be with you. I hope I'm able to respond to your questions. She was elected, as you know, on the 21st of July, the day on which Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon in 1969. And when she was elected, all Indians were over the moon. We now have a people's president and a people's prime minister with our fancy degrees from foreign universities. Um, Truly. I'm sorry to interrupt. Ambassador Ji, um, there's something going on with your microphone. I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to pause it here. Okay, hold it. Let me take out my ear. things there. She was elected on 21st July, the day on which Neil Armstrong Strong became the first person to walk on the moon, 1969. And today, all Indians like me are over the moon. We now have a people's president and a people's prime minister without fancy degrees from foreign universities. Truly, India is visual in every sense of the term. Let me tell you something else. 25th of July is observed as World Health and Happiness Day. And sure enough, we were just so happy when she was sworn in. Some, of course, will say that it is merely symbolic, but sooner rather than later, symbolism becomes a reality. I stand six inches taller as an Indian, and my heart swells with pride. You know, and unlike in so many so-called liberal democracies, any citizen of India can become the head of state, irrespective of caste, religion, or socio-economic level. The Indian military that will march on the 26th of January 2023, our Republic Day, will proudly salute their Supreme Commander, President Draupadi Murmu. It's, it's quite amazing. Of course, global attention has been uh, on her a little bit, but everybody says, well, you know, this is a one-off thing, and the uh, Shidukar Shidu tribes are still depressed. I say, give me a break. Happy birthday. We've broken the barrier. Celebrate that with India. Stop nitpicking. Stop finding fault. Colonialism, my dear friends from the West, is dead. Now also get rid of your colonial mindset. We don't need lectures from you. We know what to do. We're absolutely proud of Zawadi Murmu. I know her. I've met her. She belongs to the Santal, a Munda ethnic group native to South Asia. It's the largest tribe in the state of Jharkhand. We also find them in Assam, Tripura, Bihar. Chhattisgarh, Odisha, and West Bengal, other states from India. All I can say is that her election is a victory not just for one caste or community or religion in India. It's a victory for India. We are very proud of it. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.